Okay. Hello, we're back for another match with uh, Pauper Affinity here. Um, let's uh, take a look at our hand here. This is Matt. We're on Just for Fun Network, yo. Um, this seems like a keeper, yeah. Uh, for sure. We have another another polite pauper player playing ponder haha <laughs> -ha. uh, so that means he's either on Delver or eye candy or some other deck but just heard a loud noise above me my wife is dribbling things upstairs <laughs> uh, sure not sure it matters what land I play there Okay, so turn two, we get to go, well, into open mana is maybe a mistake, right? Um, but what are we going to do? We're not going to sit here. Because he could just have a um, spell stutter. Let's tap that, cast Frogmite. So play two two creatures with six power and toughness on turn two flashes in the spell starter there okay so we are playing against ostensibly delver could be a just fairies but most likely delver Ristic study is an extremely powerful card that I'm going to just most likely just going to ignore Um, we have four artifacts. Yeah, it's tempting to just try to kill him before the cards matter. I'm definitely attacking, so let me just do that first. I know I have the drum. I think what I do here is forger. No. Go ahead, draw a card. And play that. Doop. Nope. And now we have lots of damage. Uh, in fact, we have technically we have lethal if he doesn't block. Cloud of fairies. The yeah, heuristic study is good. I mean, it's very good, but you have to take it turn off to play it and it's not a good turn to do that like you want to be leaving counter magic up in that deck because there's not a lot of ways to deal with permanents once they hit the ground unless you're playing um fade there's a three mana sorcery that's like um if you don't pay one for each creature you have you have to sack them so which is like a which would be a huge blow out here for example but most people don't play that card. Yeah, I forget the full name, but it's Fade something. Um, playing full Ponders and Preordains is interesting. I mean, I guess to take advantage of Careers, but why why play why play Ristic Study when you could play Treasure Cruise? Especially with all these in your deck, unless he's playing both. But then what the hell are you drawing? I mean, and all the sorcery speed draw is not that great in a deck that really thrives on counter spells. Okay, that was a huge mistake. You 
even worse, he's playing a ninja. Okay, so he's dead. <coughs> well, I mean, I guess he can chump block one of our bigger dudes. Um, so he's not stone dead, but... I just don't like this line of play. Um, so do I try to get in a free attack with Disciple here? Yeah, I think I do. If he trades with Disciple, I win. So like the modern affinity deck, you this deck has a lot of win out of nowhere potential, right? So let's see if there's blocks that happen. Oh, he does trade with that and take 10. Okay. So let's play another two mana 4-4. Four, four. Let's ignore your stupid spell. Draw the cards you want. Thought cast just for grins. No. Look, I can draw cards too. Okay, great. I'm glad you drew so many cards. Eat it. Eat it. I mean, I could have got dazed there, and that would have felt really bad. <laughs> Especially with the, the thought cast for Rubbins, right? So, um... Delver. What do we want against Delver? We want Electricery. Um, and I guess I can cut a Wellspring and a Research or something. That seems fine. Okay. Or, no, wait. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe I should be cutting Blasts. No, but they have the uh, Spire Golem. Alright, this is a sh stinky hand. Um, well, maybe not. I think I'm going to keep this. It's Threat Light, and it's just not where I want to be. But I can, if I can resolve Thought Cast, I'll be in good shape. So, And at least this, we have as many lands as we really need. And we can draw into some action. Opponent is pondering. A polite pauper player is pondering ponderously. Maybe into preordain. Okay, another thought se thought cast. I keep wanting to call it thought sees. Too much standard, yo. <laughs> okay, let's see what he does here. Nada. Alright. I'm fine with playing Disciple here to maybe draw a counter spell. And if it resolves, we can thought cast. Sprite. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Yeah, I should have for thought cast. Um, because I didn't see actual counter spell out of him last game. But, I mean, it's not unreasonable to assume that he's playing that. Wrist dick study because that did you so much good last game. Um, I don't know. Maybe I will pay one. Okay. Because I've got it and I'm not doing much else. Okay. So. That was already bad here because I could be casting Star into another Thought Cast. So here he's going to end up drawing. So 
All right, here he's got me. Um, probably shouldn't have kept, and I definitely shouldn't have played Disciple there. But game's not over yet. Pondering all the way. Another study. Okay. That's the best thing for me to see him tap out because now I can land all sorts of stuff. So let's go disciple. And let's always yield. And always yield to that and say no. Go ahead. You're going to just deck yourself with that. <laughs> Go ahead. Draw all the cards because you can't deal with permanence, so I don't care. Um, let's sack this for blue. Always yes, always yield. Okay. Go ahead, draw. I don't care. Opponent is probably so happy, like, look how many cards I'm drawing, yay! But I'm I'm drawing a fair amount of cards here too. Or should I say an unfair amount of cards? So we draw another forger, which is nice. And another forger and another thought cast. So that was a very good turn for us. We only did two damage. Opponent has 11 cards. So he's bound to be discarding something. Unless he's got like snap and cloud of fairies. Next turn, we're going to go buck wild again. <laughs> and we're not under much pressure here, so. I feel that affinity is pretty difficult. Um matchup for a Delver type deck. Oh, he's actually playing straight fairies. So, oh, now he gets raped by Electric Ray. <laughs> um, so there's that. Okay, so he's going to attack here, which is interesting. <coughs> Don't know why he played his... Oh, Vapor Snag? Okay. Don't know why I played his creature pre combat there. Um, okay. Let's do that. Um, so I'm going to play a, a Forger first because if it eats a counter, I don't care. That's fine. Play another one.
draw two more cards. Uh, play a free 4-4. Four, four. Oh, one mana 4-4, four, four, sorry. If I stick a tog at this point, it's going to be hard to lose. Especially with Wellspring drawing me additional cards. Opponent has two Rhystic Studies, and I've cast a billion spells, and uh, he's only got he's only up six cards on me, <laughs> which is a lot, I guess. But I'm not afraid of any of his cards. What's he gonna do? Snag my stuff and counter it on the way back down? I mean, that's uh, me too for wanting him every time. Um, and in the meantime, his clock is not terribly impressive. Snap attack with all. Alright. That's not good for me. So we're in a race. Snag. Okay. Now I'm talking all kinds of smack here because... I'm just in the mood for that. It's not like I don't think my opponent's deck is good and that he can't win. I think he can win. Um, he looks like he is winning this match for this game at least for sure. I can still draw Electricery, which is a nice out. There's Tog. Um, so I think sequencing here is clutch. Um going to attack first with enforcer. Play a forger. Is he F6? No. and scatter. Okay, so now he can't counter my tog. That was all part of the plan, bro. So, we've got loads of damage on the board. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things we could sacrifice to Tog. So really we only have to swing through for six. And we could still just draw a fling or galvanic or still really want to draw electricery here that would be so much fun let's see how he attacks that's bad don't like that Okay, discarding extra lands. No. Tap correctly. Always tap correctly. Take the time to think about it. Probably not going to counter this. Okay. 
could, I guess. Interesting. So, depends on what he has, but I think the only chance I have here is to swing out. If he doesn't block Tog, that's obvious. Pester might. That's, that's annoying. I think that's game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because now he can block everything there. Alright. So, he can block everything. And then I can't do enough to kill him if he does that, so... Okay, so that game he uh, he drew out of it, you know, um, but all right, so maybe let's bring in the claims, and he's not playing that other way, so Galvanic Blast seems pretty bad, so let's take that out, and... Um, yeah, let's go from there. So for all the smack I done talked, <laughs> I could not pull that one out. All right, well, let's try this again. That's a snap mall, unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Just need a second land. This is big game. Fling is not a second land. Tempting to just cycle the star here, but I'm going to keep it for fixing an affinity sake. Interesting. Not good for us here. Not drawing well. Maybe it was a sketch keep. I don't know. But, uh, geez, again. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong about that card. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Don't want to cycle that yet. Okay. Now, clearly, we get pretty crushed by a uh, spell stutter here. So, running out forger is probably bad. Um, can end of turn perilous? I mean, I do have three forgers here, so if he doesn't have it, you know, I'm just in, in really good shape. Actually, at this point, it's only a 2-2, two -two, so... Yeah, I'm going to go for it, because I have three of them. And maybe this draws me into another land, which it does. And I kind of want him to end up with more 
fairies for me to electricery. Essence scatter, okay. I mean, sometimes they just have it, so something important to keep in mind. Jeez, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, gets in there for one. Lots of mana up, which is scary. Drum. Spell Sutter, okay. Thought cast. Counter spell, okay. So he, he is actually playing that. Gonna be pretty hard to win from here after that. Unless he taps out, then I can slow him down a lot, but... Bear, uh, excuse me, Doubt Ninja. Yeah, don't see a way to win from here, really, to be honest, so... That's annoying. Um, I'm going to go for something here in response to his spell stutter I'm gonna kill his oh it doesn't do anything because the other guy is not a spell stutter that was so dumb alright so we lost that one due to lots of misplays and stuff so my bad sorry guys to let you down opponent's deck is interesting I just I still after this card won him two games in a row I still don't think I would play this card but that's me all right cool that's the style of deck I don't like playing you know but all right